What's up, guys? It's your friend, Kitchen Cash with Thonor. I'm really a warrior. And today, this is part two on how to paint an SC70 Ace. Uh, what we covered in part one is... This is what you, uh, my viewers see. This is part one. And this is what they see right here. Uh, what are we painting? Uh, an SC70 Ace. Oh, that's right. We're finishing it. Uh, th we're done part two. <laughs> so, guys. One uh, day. <laughs> so, in part, what we're covering in part two is the body paint. Meanwhile, I'm working, or I'm doing some maintenance on a model, so. Just saying oh, that's. Kind of model? You're, oh, wall base 20 to 1. The gears are binding. I'm trying to find out what the problem is. I don't know. I hope they get better. What? I said I hope they get better. <laughs> Thanks. I did not feel so good this morning. I was Tuesday. just feeling up. Yeah, I kind of like a Tuesday. The Monday I hate the most is Monday. Yeah. Nobody likes Monday. I know. It's Sunday is so all Sunday is all right, but then you got the lingering feeling of Monday. Do what? You have like the feeling that you know Monday's tomorrow. Oh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like August. Like it's it's fun, but then you know school's right around the corner. Oh, I know it sucks balls. Am I right? Oh, it just sucks balls. Ah! Really? Dude, that was loud. Ah, my ears. <laughs> yeah, that's how my engine sounds. God damn, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And just what thing? My gears are bad. <laughs> You know what I guess you could say about this? What? It really grinds my gears. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 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 Frig! <laughs> that hurts like hell! That time I put the microphone on like, the engine. <laughs> that hurts like all hell, man! <laughs> <laughs> you crazy motherfucker! It could be longer. I am going to whip you. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, just no. No, I'm, I'm like, oh, hell. One. Oh, no. Don't even think about it, boy. Oh, no. Yeah, I was supposed to be going down further south today, but unfortunately, what, like, my granddad wanted me to go with my family, uh, my grandma to go and have run around uh, further south today, but I was not feeling good. Mm. So I had to stay back. Hi guys, I'm back. Hey, what's up? I just went to had pork chop sandwiches. Jack, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, I just went Cubano too. Oh, by the way, uh, by the way, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're recording right what now. Is it, oh yeah, you missed it. Like moments before you called, I blew Casey's eardrums out. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it hurt like all hell. Wow. I held the microphone Man, up to I'm a like model a train motor it. that doesn't work, and it blew out his eardrums. Really? While recording. This should be fun. Don't do that again. I will kick your ass. Poor
pork chop sandwiches. Have... Oh shit! Get the fuck out of there! I had mul- oh, one thousand pork chop sandwiches while I was there. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck you do that? It's funny. Friend, that hurt my ear holes. <laughs> ah, that hurt my ears. Uh, Tells me I've, I've had worse done to me. Ben, imagine like, imagine somebody like, it's tied to a chair. Chair and forced to watch Barty. Oh, oh my uh, god, that's gonna suck balls. Oh yeah. This is like remember the time I just broke down laughter because like I just saw like one of their like some guy's gift video towards another user saying they start watching Barney like my oh, god. god what the hell's wrong with them? I just like That broke... is ultimate cringe. Yeah <laughs> I just broke down when I saw that. <laughs> And laughter because like forcing somebody to watch Barney is ultra ultra cancerous and it's also funny. A cringe. Too. <laughs> Forced like yeah, like the video said like you like Barney Geo Guy production, so start watching it. Oh god, oh, god. that's gonna that sucks balls. <laughs> Well, this guy also made grounded videos out of Officer Ben the Trinket. Are you serious? Hey, uh, Ben. What? Tell, uh, tell Alex, uh, what you just told me about, uh, Cotton Belt. Oh. So I checked the video, uh, I see if Cotton Belt said anything, and nothing happened, but, uh, one of his friends... Uh, trans kid nine three nine. He said something completely unrelated to the video. He was just telling me how he uploaded a, a, a something else. Oh, he uploaded a video that I happened to be in. Yeah. <coughs> Imagine like some like does Con Bell force like does Con Bell deserve to be forced to being for like tied to a chair and forced to watch Barney? Like imagine that happened to. Him. <laughs> No, hey, 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 hey. That'd he be funny as hell. He doesn't deserve that. It's not cruel enough. We need something else. What's worse? <gasps> post movie Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> or so like post season five Thomas. Oh, yeah. Uh, season five. Yeah, season five happened and everything else after that was absolute garbage. Mm-hmm. That would be ultimate cringe alert. <laughs> Yeah, imagine like actually, I, I think I think Barney is worse, so that's why I chose it because Barney is worse <laughs> than TTTE because TTE is far more realistic. Until like after- I want it. The only Go anime I wouldn't mind there being is if they make one about Dora getting deported. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see that. I want to see that. <laughs> I would love to see, and I mean I would <laughs> love to see that. Yeah, <laughs> but imagine if, like, Kyle Bell and Officer Ben the Trinket get tied to a chair and are forced to watch episodes of Barney while they're, like, <laughs> like we drop ice, ice with stings. That would be funny as hell, You ever man. watch that film of Clockwork Orange? Ben? Uh, what? Sorry. No. You ever watch that film of Clockwork Orange? No. There's a scene in that film where, like, when the protagonist gets uh, tied to a chair and forced to watch films, uh, World War II footage. Oh. Caught, maybe, like, one day Kyle <laughs> gets tied to a chair and forced to watch Barney. <laughs> Great, like, um, uh, like a series on your channel that goes just like, um, what was it? What's that one kind of, like, movie series where it's like, uh, these guys are on an alien spaceship. And as punishment, they have to watch bad movies. I don't know. Mystery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. know that one. Mystery, science. What was it? 
MST3K. MST3K. I heard Do, that. like, an MST3K-style channel with Cotton Belt videos. Yeah, and uh... Cotton Belt is forced to watch Barty. <laughs> Barty until he breaks. Yeah, I would love to see that, dude. Like, actually, like, create a sock, a, a sock, another sock account called Cotton Belt or Ben, Officer Ben, Officer Ben the Train Kid sucks. I would make a GIF video saying, you like Barty, so start watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke down when I saw that. Wait, 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 isn't the video already uploaded? No. Then what? How'd you see it? <laughs> No, like that. That guy's an imposter. The guy, like David ninety one ninety one, is lame. But he came back with a new champ, but the video is gone. Oh damn it! However, like in one of his uh, Officer Ben the Train Kids rap videos, you do see like a screenshot of the video, like in the description. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this, yo? <laughs> I would love to. Yeah, I just, I just broke. I broke down when I saw that. Like, I, you like, I know you like Barney, so start watching it. <laughs> <laughs> and and I have some really bad friend. news. I heard there's going to be a Barney reboot this year. I was like, oh, God, no. No. I see it, and my pain. That would suck balls. Yes. I have a theory. Yeah. Barney can be a pedo. Yeah, like or Barney I have can a be theory. a ser serial killer. Or both. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz you know he hangs around with kids and he's a dinosaur. Jesus. The conspiracy is real. Guys, I made my point. Yeah. I made my point! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, like... Yeah, like, saying, like... Saying, like, you, you like, Barney, don't deny it, and just, like, start watching it, it's like, oh my god. I made my point! Yeah. <laughs> they did make my point there. Right? Yeah. You're stupid. Forced to watch. Imagine, like, I heard of a story, like, some dude, like, special needs dude who was forced to watch Barney for, like, 30 years. Oh no, that That's is cringe. That's just awful, right? It's that awful. Ultimate cringe. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my god, imagine being forced to watch Barney for 40 years. Like, that is just awful, dude. Awful That's, and painful. That was pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, who would do that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I would never watch Barney for 40 years. I would never watch Barney at all. Nope. Though I would watch My Little Pony. 40 years. God. No, that's correct, Jack. I just heard Ben, uh, back, ben in the background cringing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Bitch. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, about what I just said? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was funny there, Jack. <laughs> I hear Alex like, in the background hey, laughing. Yeah, like, imagine, like, game, if somebody be, made oh a video God. towards me, against me, like, saying... <laughs> Start watching it. I was just oh my it. god. 
Like if, if I ever saw a video against a whole, me like, about me watching MLP, I'm like, okay, I like this. <laughs> I just oh hear Alex in the like, background laughing. Like, his say ass off. like you're forced to watch Barney, it's taking things to a whole new level. Oh no, that's stupid as hell, man. That's taking. That's actually taking things to a whole new level. I know. Yeah, like saying like you like Barney and don't deny it. Like serious, seriously. <laughs> If that video was still up, I would watch it. Yeah. And then I would laugh my ass off at it. (laughs) (laughs) I just hear uh, Alex in the background laughing his ass off. Hey, guys, check it out. I cannot check it out, boy. I'm I'm in a movie. Really? No way. God, stupid. Give me one second. I'll give you. I'm playing zero seconds. in this. Uh, in this film, I'm playing the role of a GS four number forty four forty six. Ah. Four 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 six, bitch. I think. No. Oh, hang on. If I was to play as a GS four, I'd be forty four forty nine. That bell dough. Hey, hey Daniel. Just call me John, please. Well, our manager is replacing us on the day. Like, is that you? Why? Yeah. Girl, I played uh, Daniel. That was my tender. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, 939. I'm- John? He may have taken out of the train, but at least we still have our pride. You're right. I need some time to think. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ben. What? That movie, you know what engine now it is? I didn't really have a choice, yeah. but what? 44 or 49. A horn kind of sounded familiar. Oh, never mind, it was not a horn. <laughs> Fuck. Man, why is it just now quiet? What the hell? Diesels. Well, excuse me, these are rare these days. He just buy. Oh no no no! If he thinks diesels are better, let's. Yo, it's kind of unrealistic. All those GS ports, like wait, there's a bunch of them. That's not kind of unrealistic. That guy. It's very very unrealistic. Ben, that guy you were talking to sounded familiar. What? That guy you were talking to on that video. Yeah, that that was uh, Trench Kid nine three nine. No, no, no. That he sounds like he was from um, Risen War- Rebels. Oh, oh, he does sound like Brandon. Yeah, but uh, that wasn't him. Oh, it sounds like him. It definitely sounds like him. What the fuck? What is this music? That's Alex. No, that's me. This is the this is the movie I'm in. If anyone did like Tales of T One, I'll get triggered. <laughs> you get triggered. So apparently these two GS fours are um race the diesel daylight. Uh what numbers are they? Forty four, forty six and uh, what three uh three nine three and forty four thirty five. Forty four you mean forty-four thirty-six? Uh, no, forty-four thirty-five. Oh, but oh, okay. My mistake. As okay, I, this I, series is so knows. unrealistic. Like, there's so many GS fours. Like, Alex, so what? Mistake. Really? Ah. 
I'm so... You're a railroad's unrealistic. Really? Well, it is. Uh, well, because it's not real. What about Train's Kid 1939? <laughs> <laughs> because he's Hitler. So it's just a chase montage, as far as I know. Chase montage! It's very unrealistic. I know. You're unrealistic. But however, like, I did hear there were races between the Hudsons and K4s back in the 30s. There were. Yeah, but nothing like this. This, though. But, you know, oh, fuck. You know what I find ultra unrealistic? Yeah. New area, the series of TTTE. Well, past season five, it's ugh. Yeah. It just brought back so, so many, many re- memories though, of. There's one, a lot of repeated shots. Where's the part where we? Re- where's the part where we crash? Two. Wait a minute. I think I'm bad. God, the stupid, like... This also reminds me of the film called, like, there's a film called Everyone's Hero, which had Ben. Yeah. You ever watched that film, Everyone's Hero? No. That film had Hutches in it. It did have Hutches? Because that film is said in 32, like, about, like, some kid, like, tries, like, like... Get Babe Ruth's uh, bat back. Oh. Uh, it's, just, it's an anime film, CGI, but they had Hudsons in it. Oh. Uh. And you know what's so unrealistic? Because the Hudsons were in Pennsylvania Station. Like, seriously, they should have had, like... Hudsons in Penn, Penn Station. Oh, uh, because, like, it's kind of an unrealistic film. It's a court, it's an anime film, but it had Hudsons in it. it Second of all, like, they, they I, picked I the route, like, out the Penn, Penn Station not being in the tunnels, but, like, it's all, but it looks like Grand Central Terminal. Like, when you, like, after Grand Central Terminal, like, you come out, like, you see all these, like, onto 125th Street, but the film is, to, like, they should have been the North River Tunnels. No. Like, Seriously, it's a very unrealistic film, like, in terms of railroading. Mm. And sec, the realistic part of all is that the Hudsons are depicted along the, like, wait, 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 no, the Pennsylvania Station is, or, like, the water level route. Really? Yeah. They should have run Mohawks. Yeah. Wait, did they run Mohawks on the water level line? Yeah, but the I thought so. yeah the film takes place in thirty two and it had like you know the Hudsons were new by like by Brian Spanking new. Yeah. Ha- ever do you have any Hudsons? No. Uh, only Pacifics. Uh yeah. They had Pacifics but not Hudsons. Are really crazy on superpower. Well, that is up into the forties. Also, the Hudsons in the and everyone's hero are the are J ones, but the J ones are two ten fours. No, no, no J one, no the original Hudsons. From I'm talking about the original Hudsons from you know New York Central Hudsons, the J ones. Oh. When I heard J one, I'm like the Pence's J ones. By the way. Yeah. The, but you know what I'm thing surprised is, about today? Yeah. As the uh, lag isn't here. What? Lag's not here. Oh. That's a good thing. Oh, like, do you think, do you definitely, you, sh- you think the New York Central should have saved the Hudson? Yes. And the Niagara's. Yeah. 
But the thing is, like, Alfred E. Perlman was, like, so crazy, hell-bound dieselization, he wanted everything scrapped. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, I didn't really care about the story, but because I'm only, a, like, a fan of 2102 and that's it. Kind of an isolation, isolationist dude. I didn't really want to get into that stuff. But Honestly, whatever. Like, I, if I, I was, was that really, guy, Alfred I'd say, if, I'd save some Hudsons and Niagara's. Actually, they did try to save a Hudson, which was a 5344, a.k.a. the Commodore Vanderbilt. But then the, the Smithsonian wanted it, but... Is it fifty three forty four the seven hundred E? Yeah. Smithsonian wanted it, but Alpha E. Perlman said no. Fuck it, we're gonna scrap it. That's stupid. Yeah, because like most rail fans, like if he thought bad, think of Alpha E. Perlman. Like I know he actually he actually was a good railroader because he wanted like. Save the New York Central from bankruptcy, but by like in order to do that, he had to scrap every like scrap all the steam basically. But even though he was That's a good sad. railroader, he did kind of make that mistake. Oh, by the way, guys, if you hear me eating something, like if you hear any crumbling, I'm eating ruffles. Yeah, Ben, and he's gone. Yeah, like Ben. Alfred. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Ben, if you think Lewis I forgot I was bad, like, think of uh, yeah. Alfred E. Perlman of the New York Central when he decided, like, he was hell-bent on dieselization. He scrapped all the Hudson's and Niagara's and other steam. Mm. Well, there is a Mohawk still around. Yeah, but he, he didn't want to save those either. Oh. Trapped. But I also heard like he was also, he was actually a good railroader, but he, the reason why he had to scrap all steam because was keep the New York Central from going bankrupt. It was going bankrupt. Well, he wanted to, like keep him like like up to date, you know, oh. modern. Like he wanted to save like New York Central from case of bankruptcy by scrapping all steam, like modernizing it. Yeah. You know, you know what I really liked about the Norfolk and Western. Yeah. How, how long they kept they, their steam? They were fighting dieselization. Yeah. Like, there was, I know the, the NNW was, the, like, basically the Alamo of steam. That's a they Grand Trunk. keep steam alive. Yeah. NNW they, and Grand Trunk kept their steam longer than anyone. Yeah. That the is US. amazing. So was the C, B, and Q, in a sense, because, like, in 19... Yeah, they were the first to have a steam program, weren't they? Uh, one of the first. But actually, the story with the Rambles, the Red Ink, because that started in, in 36. Oh. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, think about it. Like, Red like, was the famous... first team program. Yeah, one it of was? the first. Yeah, like, thing is, like, I know the Red Ink, like, like, didn't save any other steam other than the T1s and a Camelback and that and the 060 T. Mm. But you know what really aggravates me? Yeah. Uh, most of the big boys are scrapped when all of them could have been saved. Yeah, like, but there are eight left, which are which is plenty. Uh, it's plenty, though. But yeah, also, why did Lionel, when, when Lionel came out with the Vision Line Big Boys, they did not make 40-23? Yes, yeah, really like, forgot. Yeah, like, uh, what about the early challengers? Oh, Broadway Limited's coming out with those. I'm really excited. Yeah, like, when are they coming out? Like, or, sorry, after he just came out with them. I'm really looking forward to those. I love the early challengers. The 3700s? Mm -hmm. I'm going to the 3900s. Yeah. Like, are more like, badass. <laughs> like, no, we, like, I know the story, like, the challengers, like, 
The early challengers, like I know, like a lot of rail fans say, like were either like better than the later ones. And don't forget those two Y sixes that got scrapped in the seventies. So oh, I'm, yeah, that's right. Six. Hang on, though. What I'm it, phones, headphones in. I have my headphones, uh, my computer headphones on. So what was it? So the those two Y sixes. Those two Y. The two Y. The two Y six. Yeah. So. Who built those? They were scrapped in the mid seventies. But you know what else pisses me off? Yeah. Y six Bs being scrapped. Yeah, the, the, they were Y six Bs. But I prefer Y six B over any Malay type. The Y six Y six A so Y six Bs are almost the same. Like I know the Y six B is longer. Yeah. Also have a larger firebox. Yeah, but they're almost they're almost kind of the same though. Well, Y6As I would have a different braking rigging. Any... What? Uh, Y6As have a larger brake compressor. Yeah. <laughs> larger. You know, I yeah. would really love to see the Y7 if it came out. If they ever came out with the Y7, I would love that. Wait, I'm sending you a picture of the blueprints. Okay. Wait, but you that's know what? what I should build. You know what else? That's what I should build. A Y7. What about I would just love for twenty one seventy one to come back. Sent it. So this is isn't uh, this from the fifties? Yeah. N and W was going to build them because how successful the Y sixes were, but then dieselization happened, so they decided not to. Oh, yeah, that's sad. Looks like it was going to have the air compressors on the front and a much, much bigger firebox. Yeah, for more surface area. I would say the big boys were, were successful. They were. I would say that because on how powerful they were, how beautiful they are too, not to mention. Yeah. Yeah. That's were amazing for their speed. Even though I'm not that big of a fan of smoke deflectors, really. I love the smoke deflectors. They make yeah. it look more elegant. Yeah, that's but I th I thought smoke deflectors more like more of a European feature than American. I like the you know, style Chinese of smoke steam engines have them too. Yeah, but mostly I thought like when I think of smoke deflectors, I think of like European, like German, French steam. Chinese. Oh, German, the BR fifty two. Oh, those BR fifty twos. Those are the fifty two, the fifty, and the forty four. Or what those are brutes. Oh, and the 45. Those are brutes. Have you seen the 45? That's in the 44s. 10-2. But I've seen the 44s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, But these, the yeah. German BRs have... Aren't they? Yeah, I like how the the fifty two. It was designed for the for war transportation, and they built it with minimal parts. Minimal power? No, minimal parts, like the least amount of parts possible to make maintenance easier. Wow. The Germans really know how to do that, didn't they? Yeah, I'm sending you a BR forty five. Okay. So I guess I show expect a package in the mail soon. <laughs> I know, like, they're, like, Nazi engines. <laughs> but I really have a thing for Soviet steam. Yeah, Russian. The, yeah. The, uh, the P-36, the L's, 
the P38. SUs. Oh, the A8, the A820, I think that's what it is. Yeah, the the TP1, I was like that one. The TP1 was pretty cool. I know, but I really like the the AA20s. Are there's only beast. one? There's only one AA20. That's a beast. You know what the uh, numbers and letters stand for? Uh, what? AA was the initials of the man who invented it. Okay. And 20 represents um the amount of weight put on each wheel. Each yeah, each axle had uh, 20 tons of weight on it. 20 tons. <laughs> 20 tons. Really? Holy that shit. Was a failure that's that why was the really thing... Right. Yeah, that's why it derailed often. It was too heavy for itself. Literally. Yo, know, like, I would never design an engine that lo- that heavy. Right? I would. <laughs> you know, it's funny is that uh, they tried to build the world's longest uh, rigid frame locomotive. We kicked but that the... goes to the 412, too. No, and right after that, or like a few years after, uh, we kicked their butts with the S1. Oh, yeah, the S1. But the S1, like, the S1 was kind of unsuccessful, too, it failed. but it did it see failed. its revenue service. It's what? Revenue service. Yeah. Fortunately, it did run, but it didn't run very well. It was scrapped before the 50s. Yeah. It didn't live very long. Yeah. But I really like the Q2s. Q2. Oh, yeah. They're awesome. Yes. Hey, guys. What? I'm our, I'm just got done with the body paint. Nice. And we're already 37 minutes in. Well, what are we doing now? Talk up for now. I can go to do lettering and numbering too. Oh, yeah. I got. One, I'll one, be back. I, I gotta take a shower. You were on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I heard someone pooping a moment ago. <laughs> yeah, I just I, anywhere I go. I said something. You heard me. Yeah. I said, "Who's pooping?" <laughs> Guys, I'm eating here. So do you think I should go and do the letting and numbering? Yeah, go ahead. So guys, um, this is going to be part two and three. Why did I zoom all the way in? Damn it. Good thing I barely heard that. You turn the volume down? No, I only have one pair of headphones on. Oh. Wait, only one pair? Yeah. What? My computer headphones are on right now. Oh. Sometimes it'll be seven. I can't wait to watch the video and see. You have your eardrums blown out. <laughs> oh, no, that would suck balls. Yes. So, guys, this is number 7,005. Where's the rest of them? The 7,000 credits. Uh, oh, my 7,000 are SC70s. Uh. So, this will be basically the six SC78s I have in my fleet. The fictional the railroad. Six. In my fleet. God. This thing, my model really needs some lubrication. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> like, real bad. This thing, like, is almost seized up. That's what she said. Uh, You're probably saying, shut up. Yep. Now I got the F on. (laughs) 
stuff is in place. You know what uh, now I got next? What? Brigand. Uh, name. Uh, road name. <laughs> the friggin' thing. Road name. Uh. And why did you think that was funny? Stupid. How you're trying to make a big deal about it and then you forgot what you're talking about. I know! <laughs> That's my thing. Don't wear it on. What was that? Uh, oh, that's the motor. What are you making? Second noises? I still don't know what's wrong with this engine. I know what's wrong with it. What? I'm talking to him right now. Ah! I'm, talk- I'm talking about a Wabash M1. Oh. Well, it's not really an M1, actually. It's the IHC 4A2, which looks nothing like an M1. Alright. Oh. Okay, shall we go on and wait for Alex to do the outro? He just went in the shower. <laughs> I can't okay. wait to watch this video. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, drop a like and a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. Anyways, I'm Case Kessler. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm back, oh bitches. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was perfect. That was perfect talking. Yeah. You won't believe what just happened. Yeah. Watch hey, it in the video when it bitches. comes out. What? Just, just watch it. It's just, just watch the video when it comes out. Like, like watch all the way to the end. I go to the bathroom. Oh, what? It's like, oh, uh, we were doing our outro. So in case you're like, um, so I'll see you guys later. I'm Casey, and then you you come on. And you're like, I'm back, bitches. Can you tell that over? Yeah. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, drop a like and a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. I'm Casey Gessler. I'm Railhawk Productions. I'm Railroad Warrior. And we'll see you next time.